Pastor Taylor at Crystal River, and he is going to pray for you guys. Hey guys, let's pray real quick. Dear Heavenly Father, God, uh, wow, what an amazing day we've had uh, here at Radiance Church, and just what a blessed day it is in your spirit. Uh, God, it's always a blessed day to be in your spirit, and God, we first and foremost recognize your spirit, and thank you, God, that you have led us into a time of worship today. And God, it's not just today, but you give us the opportunity to have a time of worship any place, anywhere, anytime. Uh, God, we just thank you for that today. I'm praying for all those around the world that are watching this video right now. God, many people around the United States, around the world globally, God, they are, uh, God, experiencing it and they're in need of a miracle. They're in need of a massive miracle in their lives right now. And uh, God, they're going through maybe a major transition or they're going through a, a major uh, um, uh, issue maybe in their marriage or in their family or relational, uh, relationally with a, a co-worker or in their jobs or their boss. And God, we're just praying for them directly right now. God, asking in the name of Jesus that you would reveal your plan to them. God, that you would reveal your way to them, God, that you would reveal your love to them and, and the forgiveness that needs to be gone out. Maybe there's somebody watching this video right now, God, that is in need of, uh, of forgiveness or they're in need of forgiving someone else, God, that's done them wrong. And God, you call us to forgive them even if they don't forgive us. And so, God, we're praying right now in the name of Jesus that you give them hearts of, of mercy and grace. God, we're praying for those who are in need of, of a, a health miracle, God. Maybe they're struggling with cancer. Maybe they're struggling with some other kind of disease that we all know very well. And God, many diseases lead to death, but they don't always have to lead to death, God. They can live to life through the name of Jesus, God. You can heal anyone, anywhere, anytime. And so, God, we're lifting up those who are in need of miracles in their health and, and in their bodies, God, that you would do amazing and, and miracles throughout um, that, their bodies and just bring them to full health again. And God, for those who you won't heal completely physically, God, we pray in the name of Jesus that you would bring them to spiritual health, that, God, as they do pass on, that you would bring comfort and peace, and God, that ultimately you would bring the greatest healing, which is the healing of our sins and bringing us into freedom, God. We're praying for those around the world who are in need of a Savior name Jesus. God, a Savior that died on the cross thousands of years ago so that we could be free indeed. God, we're praying for the world to be changed through us as the body of Christ. God, use us in mighty ways. Use those that are watching this video, uh, God, in mighty and incredible ways. God, do miracles in us, for us, and do miracles through us to change the world forever. And we ask this in Jesus' name, in Jesus' name, amen. And so what was one of the things you said today about somebody and nobody and everybody? What was that? Yeah, that one of my favorite phrases that I've ever heard was that we're just nobodies. I'm just a nobody trying to tell everybody about somebody who loves everybody. And if you can sum up your limitless sermon today in just a few words, how would you sum it up? Yeah, yeah. Our church here, we've uh, been in a limitless series for the past two weeks, and we entered into the new year with this limitless theme. Uh, Colton Dixon recently came out with a song called Limitless, and I love the the, the bridge of that song. It says that doubt sees a mountain uh, that we don't seem like we can overcome, uh, something that's so much greater than ourselves, but faith sees something that can be used for the glory of God, something that God can do because he is a God of endless possibilities, and we always need to be reminded of that. When you look at Matthew chapter 13, you see Jesus speak of the faith of a mustard seed, and he says that he'll take that mustard seed and make something so small into something so great. And that's a great reminder for us today and for all those viewers out there today that are watching this, that God can take nothing. God can take something so insignificant and so small and use it for the greatest of his glory, because God is limitless in power limitless in space and limitless in knowledge. He always knows what he's doing and he's always capable of doing it.